Dear viewers, welcome to our channel. It's good to have you here. In this video, we'll be looking at the differential. We'll be looking at the different components of the differential, the function, and the operating principles. Let's have a look at the power flow. Power is taken from the transmission gearbox. It will pass through the universal joint and slip joint. It will go through the propeller shaft and fed to the differential in such a manner. Well, when you look at the functions of the differential, the differential have different functions. For example, as you can see, the differential receives power from the propeller shaft. This power comes from the propeller shaft and splits that power to the left and right wheel. It distributes that power to the left and right wheel. This is one function of the differential. The other function of the differential, as you can see, it changes the direction of power flow. Power from the propeller shaft is turning in this direction, in this axis, whereas the final power will be in this axis. So the differential changes the direction of power flow by 90 degrees. The other function of the differential, as you can see, the drive pinion is smaller than the ring gear. So we have a speed reduction and torque multiplication. So the other function of the differential is it multiplies torque and reduces speed. It serves as a final reduction. However, the main function of the differential is it allows the left and the right wheel to be driven at different speeds. That is where the name differential is derived from. The name differential is given to this assembly because it drives the wheels at different speeds. Later in this video, we will see how that is taking place. But before going into the details, let us see the components of the differential. Let's see each component one by one. When you look at the main components of the differential, here we have the drive shaft. This is the drive shaft that receives power from the propeller shaft. And the drive shaft is connected to the drive pinion. This is a gear that is cut on the drive shaft. The drive shaft together with the drive pinion, is in constant mesh with the ring gear. This is called the ring gear, sometimes known as the crown gear. The crown gear, however, it is bolted to the differential case. This is called the differential case. As you can see, there are a set of bolts joining the differential case to the ring gear. So, the differential case is connected to the ring gear. Therefore, when the ring gear is turning, it will take the differential case with it. And inside the differential case, there is a shaft that is inserted in here. This shaft. This is called the planet pinion shaft. There is a shaft that is inserted in here. And there are two planet pinions, one here, another here. Planet pinions that are installed on the shaft. And these planet pinions, or sometimes called spider pinions, are connected to the side gears. Here we have one side gear, and on the other side also there is another side gear. 
the side gears are connected to the axle shaft. Here is the right axle shaft and here is the left axle shaft. So they are connected to the axle shaft or sometimes these axle shafts are known as half shaft. Now when we look at the power flow, this is how power flows. The drive shaft receives power from the propeller shaft and with the help of the drive pinion, it transfers that power to the ring gear. Because the ring gear is bolted to the differential case, the power from the ring gear is transmitted to the differential case. This is the differential case assembly. Now, there is a shaft that is inserted into the differential case. So when the differential case is moving, it will take this shaft with it. When that shaft is moved, it will take the pinions along. And these pinions, because they are connected to the side gears, that power from the pinions as they travel, they take this side gear and the other side gear as well. Now the side gear is finally connected to the axle shaft. That will take the power to the wheels. This is how power flow is happening. Let's power it up and see how it is going to happen. So this is how power is flowing. Power from the drive shaft through the drive pinion is connected to the crown gear or sometimes known as the ring gear. The ring gear is bolted to the differential case. So the ring gear and the differential case are moving as a unit. See this shaft? There is a shaft inserted inside the differential case. So when the ring gear is moving, so does the shaft. This shaft. Now when the shaft is moving, it will take these pinion gears with it. The pinion gears are then connected to the side gears. So power is flowing from this pinion to each side gear from this pinion to the side gears. So this is how power is transmitted. Now you might have noticed that the pinion gears are only rotating with the differential case. They are not revolving on their axis. Let's see what will happen when there is a difference in speed between the left and right wheel. Now, when there is difference in traction, when there is difference in resistance between the left and the right wheel, the differential will allow one wheel to speed faster than the other. For example, when the vehicle is cornering, when vehicle is making a turn, the inner wheel is covering shorter distance compared to the outer wheel, which has to cover longer distance. And therefore, the outer wheel has to travel faster whereas the inner wheel has to travel slower. This is accomplished by the differential. In order for you to clearly understand, let's make the right wheel completely stopped and see what will happen to the differential and its configuration. Now I'm holding the right wheel stationary. As you can see, this axle shaft is not rotating. Look what is happening now. The right wheel is not turning, it's totally stopped, but the left drive shaft is rotating. Now it is rotating twice the speed of the previous revolution. And there is also another difference. Look, look at these pinion gears. These planet gears. The planet gears, which previously were stationary and only moving with the differential case, now have started another set of motions. They are revolving on their shaft. This allows the right wheel to be driven at lower speed than the left wheel. Let's see how this is exactly happening. See, when this side gear is stationary, when the right side gear is stationary, the pinion gears are just walking on this side gear while transmitting power to this side gear. Let us explain this and see how exactly this is happening. So this is how the differential 
differentiates speed between the left and right wheel. So whenever there is a difference in traction, whenever there is a difference in resistance between the left and right wheel, the differential will allow the speed variation. And therefore, there is no need for the wheels to slide. There is no need of skidding of the wheels. For example, when the vehicle is turning or when there is an irregularity on the road surface, that will cause speed difference between the left and right wheel. Now let us see how this is done. Here we have the shaft. Let us assume this to be a pinion gear tease. Let's say this is a planet pinion gear tease. One is engaged to this side here and the other end is engaged to the other side here. Now when there is equal reaction on both sides, equal reaction on the left and on the right, what happens is this assembly will travel just as it is without revolving. But what will happen when there is greater resistance on here? When there is greater resistance on one side, look what is happening. If this is with higher resistance, the pinion is, the, the differential case is taking this gear. So what will happen? Look when there is large resistance. See what is happening? This gear is not mov moving or the speed has been reduced. So the in the teeth on this side will work whereas this end will transfer that power see the the pinion gears the planet pinions they work on the one with the higher resistance and they transfer that look they are transferring that drive to the other wheel look it's taking that wheel driving it faster, faster, faster. So this is how the differential allows the speed variation between the left and right wheel, depending on the road and load condition. Let's see once again what will happen when there is equal traction on both sides. Now let me release. See, when there is equal traction, the pinions, they are not revolving on their shaft, rather they will remain stationary in their axis. However, because the differential case is rotating, they will start rotating with the differential case. So this is how the differential is operating. As you can see, there is lots of power being transferred from the propeller shaft to the axle shafts. In order to transmit that, the differential has to be well replicated in order to minimize damage caused by friction the differential has to be well lubricated so make sure that the differential is always full of oil make sure that that oil is not contaminated and regular maintenance is crucial in order to increase the service life of the differential The differential will change the direction of that power to split it into right, left and right to multiply the torque and then it supplies to the axle shaft. The axle shaft, it is connected to the left and right wheels. So this is how it operates, guys. This is a simple demonstration showing the internals of a differential. So this is how the differential multiplies this is how the differential allows speed variation between left and right wheel. This is how the differential allows your vehicle to be driven without slippage. So when you are cornering, for example, there is a difference in the speed between the inner wheel and the outer wheel. The inner wheel is covering shorter distance, so it has to, low, it has to go at lower speed. Whereas the outer, the outer wheel, because it is covering longer distance, it has to be driven at larger speed. That is allowed by the differential. As you can see, because it is transmitting torque, it has to be well lubricated. 
the oil level has to be maintained and make sure that the oil is regularly changed because it is operating at extremely high friction between the drive pinion and the ring gear. So this is how the differential operates. If you like this video, please smash the like button. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so that you will be notified whenever we come up with another beautiful video. Till then, stay safe.